Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Serge. And I'm Cern. All right, and now we're going to look at the right paralumbar region. What do we be looking at here? So at the right paralumbar region, we want to look for free fluid. Uh, we can also look for free air. And then we want to move into more specific questions of that kidney. We want to check that kidney for symmetry, make sure that we don't have any irregularities that are obvious or cysts that are there. And then more specifically, we're going to go into renal pelvis assessment and whether we have renal pelvic dilation, yes or no. That's so, right. Really important question to ask at that uh, right paralumbar. And then if we can find it, we're also going to look for the duodenum at that right paralumbar site and assess that for motility. So Serge here is going to say how we find that paralumbar site, and then we'll go through each of those questions at this specific specific site uh, and go through those one at a time in our binary fashion. That's right. So the right kidney is probably the hardest organ to find in the abdomen because it is tucked usually under those ribs. So easiest way to find it is to palpate that 13th rib. Once you find that 13th rib, also visualize that the kidneys are usually much more dorsal than you can imagine. Usually roughly around the 9th and 10th rib is often where I'm going to start scanning. And if I don't see the organ, just like any other site, we don't see the organ that we want to, we're gonna sweep and slide, sweep and slide. So I'm gonna go ahead and start right there. And you'll notice that we're scanning Daisy here in sternal, because that's mm. the position that uh, Daisy's most comfortable. So we're definitely gonna scan Daisy in sternal here to allow you to see how we're gonna do this. Yeah, and cat kidneys tend to be quite superficial, so we have our depth already set to about six or seven centimeters. And there we go, I'm gonna start in long axis, and there we go, I can't see the kidney. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna sweep, oh, and look at that, there it is, and then I'm gonna slide, and there's the kidney right there. So we can see the kidney right there. And unfortunately, we do have rib shadowing here because we are under that rib cage. So that is something you have to take note. Absolutely, and once we see that long axis, a nice view here, we're gonna make sure we fan all the way off all planes in long axis like Dr. Schlub did right here. And then we're gonna rotate that probe from long axis into short axis. And we're just checking to make sure we don't have any obvious cysts or uh, asymmetry to that kidney, make sure it's nice and smooth uh, and it looks normal. And then in short axis, we're again, we're gonna fan all the way up all planes in short axis, both poles. So we see that we don't see any obvious free fluid, free air, obvious cysts and that the symmetry looks good. And then more specifically, we're gonna challenge Dr. Schlub to find that renal pelvis in short axis. So he's got a, a kidney here in short axis and you can see that we're just fanning slowly, trying to find the center of that kidney in short axis in transverse. We're gonna look for that renal pelvis as we see it's starting to come in a little bit here. Yep, so the right kidney unfortunately is not exactly perpendicular or parallel in the body, so it's always got a bit of a slant which is problematic because that means that sometimes just by rotating the probe, you don't see it. So I'm gonna try again. Here's the kidney in long axis again. And this time I'm gonna rotate with the marker the other way, just see if that, there we go. Yep. There comes the renal pelvis. So we got the crest coming in there and we can see the renal sinus right there is a nice image of it. Yep. And in this cat, we don't see any anechoic uh, separation at the crest of the kidney there, which indicates that this is a normal renal pelvis. We'd be looking for an anechoic V-shaped or uh, as it gets bigger, C-shaped to rounded pelvis as we get problems. So you just gotta find that uh, crest and that renal sinus as you see here in short axis, make sure we don't have any renal pelvic dilation. So that's very nicely done here. That's right, so we usually rotate the probe to the right. This time I did rotate the probe to the left and it gave us a better image. But again, just some subtleties uh, to realize it doesn't matter which way you rotate the probe as long as you're comfortable yeah, with and as, as Dr. Schlub alluded to, you can see that he's in on an angle at about actually 35 degrees mm -hmm. as opposed to perfectly perpendicular because again, the kidneys can sometimes be slanted in that lumbar space. Uh, so make sure you do uh, take the time to get it in full long axis or uh, get that in its shortest transverse axis and you're not oblique. That's right. All right, so then the next thing we can ask ourselves, is there duodenal generalized ileus? Looking at, for generalized ileus, one of the sites we can look at beyond the stomach is the duodenum. So what you can do is sometimes find it by starting at the right kidney, and what you're gonna do is start sweeping towards midline. So start at the right kidney, start sweeping towards midline, and you try to find the largest of the small intestines. So let me try more cranial. Oh, there it is down there, you see it? Yeah, so we got a little bit of motion down here. Uh, so we can just saw a little bit of luminal contraction there. And there we can see the uh, layers of the intestine. Uh, we can outline that. And we're seeing a little bit of motion to the right with the luminal contents contracting. Uh, so swimming right yeah. in there. There yeah. it is right So there. we got the gas in the center of our image there. 
and that's going to be the uh, thickest wall of our small intestine. That's correct. So a bit challenging in this case, as you see sometimes when the colon's there, but that's mm -hmm. the reality of uh, scanning. You sometimes got to displace that colon, or as uh, Serge did, you may have to drive around a little bit uh, cranial or caudal to that uh, right kidney. Just make sure you pick up that widest of the small, oh, and there's a nice GI yeah. motility so there. sweep and slide, sweep nice, and slide. Nice luminal contractility there. So you can see we had to adjust a little bit to find Thank it, but you. we did get that uh, duodenum. All right. And that is it for the right paralumbar region. Merci beaucoup. And we'll do the left uh, paralumbar site next. And until then.